All right, welcome back everyone. So I'm actually gonna be doing some interior work here. Actually, I just grabbed this towel from the outside. I'm not gonna be staying in the car. I just wanna kind of just demo here in this section because I just did the Camaro with the same thing. Um, so what I'm gonna be wiping down the interior with is a McGuire's Quick Interior Detailer. So this stuff works really good if you're, so if you stay on top of your car and you're, and you're all you're doing is wiping up dust and your, your interior is pretty clean, uh, you can just use this. It has a light cleaner and uh, has a UV protection on there. It'll maintain your uh, matte finish um, from uh, your OEM materials. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try something a little different in terms of application for, um, you know, the vinyl in here. So again, this car is 22 years old. I've had it for 22 years. Uh, and... You know this car sits outside for the longest time i didn't have a, a cover on here uh, but you know the plastics the plastic and vinyl gets brittle over time you can see i have a crack right here uh, because it's gotten brittle and they don't make replacement parts for this car uh, like they use like the um like new cars and you want to protect your materials long term so that means uh some sort of product to put on there to kind of rehydrate your interior every now and then uh, i don't want to replace this i'd have to find a part at the salvage yard to replace it and then I, that's a whole effort in, in itself uh, so again I'm just gonna have to be just I just put stuff on here to kind of just rejuvenate the material and just do some minor upkeep and, and just go from there uh, you know this tends to kind of look dry uh, over time like I said it's just 22 year old material and it's gonna happen so what I'm gonna be using today on the interior here this is vinyl I'm going to be using the Color Lock Leather Protector. So it says here, nourishes and protects pigmented smooth leather with UV protection. Uh, remember, keep in mind that what you what you put on leather, you can put on vinyl. Though they do make a dedicated vinyl piece on here. Uh, it says, it's uh, leather protector is a cream containing a UV filter complex and antioxidants. It protects full grain and coated leathers from drying. Regular care extends the lifespan of leather. After first cleaning with Color Lock Mild Leather Cleaner, apply a thin layer of cream. With a soft cloth, always test on a hidden area before full application. One application offers three to six months of protection. Now that's for leather, uh, so it's just the same thing you're going to be doing for for vinyl. Uh, it's probably going to last longer than three to six months here because this part doesn't see abrasion on here. So uh, the other thing is that you can put on there if you wanted to. If you wanted to put on uh, something like a dedicated coating, you can use something like Seacork Leather 2.0. You can just apply it to the material. And the benefit of this is going to last longer, and it's going to look. Uh, and it will darken the interior. And for those of you who deal with rain, and, and maybe you put a dressing on here, on your interior to kind of make it look nice. Um, sometimes that runs, and you get white lines on here. If you use this on your door panels, it'll just uh, be hydrophobic, and it won't leave those those marks. So I'm not going to stay in the interior because it's too hot right now. It's like 80 degrees out there today, which is not bad. You can see them in the, the product itself is like a lotion-like material, and I'm gonna just put it on here. And right now it looks like it's it's gonna leave like a real high gloss, uh, but again, it's gonna look like that when you first apply it. I'm actually gonna work this area as well. And just keep putting as much as you need to get the product applied on here. Now I'm just taking advantage of the nourishing properties of Color Lock. Not so much the UV. Most of your UV is blocked by the glass. Uh, but I'm just using this to rehydrate the materials in the car that have just to maintain its appearance. I know a lot of people tend to freak out. It's like, oh, you don't need UV. Now, uh, there's some truth to that. So there's a little plastic piece here. I'm, I would just use uh, that Geon Preserve on there. Okay. So I'll let that sit for a little bit. And while we let that sit, the reason I'm going to let that sit is because I want the product to be absorbed by the, the material. 
So now that this is going to be sitting for a little bit, uh, the next part I'm going to do, because this has hard plastic up here, is I'm going to use Geon Preserve. This stuff works fantastic on plastic interiors. Let me just put this here so I don't mess up the towels here. Uh, it does a real uh, great job. Which side did I use? This part is wet. It does a good job of reviving plastics. You can see it's uh, semi, it's not really thick. But it does a really good job of reviving plastics on the, on the interior. Uh, I primarily use it on interiors because it just does such a good job. I re I've um, revitalized some real old plastics with this stuff and it just, you know, with continued use over time, it does a heck of a good job. This stuff is just great. So then I'm going to go ahead and put this on the plastic door here. And if you wanted to, you can cut it down one to one. Uh, maybe it's a little too glossy for your, or I shouldn't say glossy. There's too much of a sheen. You can cut it down <coughs> one to one. <coughs> Ooh, my voice getting, my throat's getting dry. Okay, so now I've let this sit for a little bit. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wipe this down. Knock down any excess product. From the color color lock. Like I said, we're just rejuvenating, rehydrating the vinyl. And it looks glossy, but it really isn't. It's just the way that the sun's reflecting off the grain here. Okay, so I'm just going. And then as, as the color lock absorbs into the material, it's going to also knock itself down even more because the plastic's going to absorb it. So it does look glossy, but it's not. And then I would leave the um, preserve on longer as I've dressed the rest of it. But because it's kind of hot in here, I don't want to leave it on here too long. Like I said, if, it, if you're depending on the angle of your glass, you may have to cut the product down one to one, which uh, Gion says is perfectly fine. I found that this doesn't attract dust like some other products. Like I tried Copper Pearl on, on the interior to attract the dust. So I mean, uh, really that's all there is uh, to it. Uh, again, if you want to just kind of pick up something to kind of just put on your vinyl dash, uh, you can pick up the Color Lock Leather Protector. They do make a vinyl specific one, but this will work just fine as well. Uh, this is what I have right now because I have the leather interior on the, for the seats. And uh, then if you have any hard plastics or maybe some vinyl here, uh, that's a little bit. This is vinyl. I could actually use color lock on here if I wanted to. But if you have hard plastics like this or even these pieces here or like that dash piece or anything like that, uh, Geon Preserve would be my recommendation to pick up. It just, uh, it just looks better and um, works better than 303. I know 303 is the standard, but... Uh, these two would be my recommended products for the interior just to kind of keep your your car looking good and then for weekly wipe downs i would use a product like the quick interior detail you don't need anything uh, strong if you're maintaining your interior so again if you guys are have any comments or questions go ahead and post them down below uh, but right now this looks really good it's kind of just rehydrated i can actually see the dark line here that it rehydrated the plastic and so i would do the i mean the vinyl uh, so i would just continue and go around the the rest of it and um yeah i mean that's what I basically would do to kind of just keep the, the the vinyl here looking good for more years to come and keep it from continuing to, to crack over time. Um, you know, it's actually softened quite a bit as I maintained it. And again, if you have any, any comments or questions, go ahead and post them down below. I'll get back to them as soon as I can. And again, if you were looking for a, uh, a nice uh, one-two combo for vinyl and plastic, uh, go ahead and look these up. Um, actually, I, I'm just to kind of be a little bit transparent with you guys uh, i did sign up for the obsessed garage affiliate program so if you guys want to help the channel out uh, i know um, products cost a little bit more there and again um, they don't have control of shipping costs shipping costs have risen uh, pretty much for on the across the industry for most detailing supplies and and that's that's just the situation we're in <laughs> you know people just need to get back to work and, and that's the thing um, 
so and of course that affects your, your shipping demand so shipping costs are a bit high uh, but if you guys want to support the um, support the channel and myself uh, you know I'm gonna link the obsessed garage for the color lock if you guys want to use my referral link uh, you know it'll help the channel out it'll you know bring some some cash flow in it so I can purchase more things uh, from them if I have to uh, if not it's not a big deal again either way you guys are still supporting me uh, either way you know just uh, subscribing and just watching and commenting uh, but again I'm just gonna put that out there I also have a referral link for um, a Dr. Beasley's if you guys want to pick up some things uh, you guys can actually just use that referral link as well and also um, glass parenty I think the glass parenty one gives you five dollars off uh, so I, I have referral links for that if you guys want to um, um, help yourself out as well get a little discount and plus also help me out as well so again thanks for watching and um, stay tuned for the next one if you guys have any comments questions on these two products uh, go ahead and hit me up if you wanted to you could actually use the leather shield on here if you wanted to add some hydrophobics or anything like that uh, for example like I was saying it's gonna rain um, you can use it on, on this part here or on the side piece uh, and it'll be hydrophobic again I would save leather shield for your seats uh, I think next time I do the leather interior I will show you how to use color lock and leather shield uh, uh, I think that'll, that's a good video to have uh, again thanks for watching thanks for your support keep commenting and um, yeah stay tuned for the next one